Okay, my red, my Rockstar launcher crashed. That's dumb. Let's see if I'm going to be pissed right now. Are you fucking serious? I lost my wagon because you fucking crashed. I stole that shit. Purposely to take it back to the base and the launcher crashed on me. I had a wagon of dynamite and explosives. Ah, oh, damn it. Fucking A, man. Video games, right? Oh, fucking annoying. They're not going to be back there again. Okay. It's pointless to go check. We'll, we'll have to go find it some other day. Let's just go back to camp. Anyways, how are you doing? What happened? So I was just playing and I came across some raiders and I ended up killing them because they had a bunch of guns. They, there was a transaction, a sale for guns. So I took their whole wagon of guns and explosives. I was going to take it back to camp because I've never taken them back to camp. I always take them to that uh, pawn guy, that lender dude. Uh, he is a fence. They call a fencer. Oh, he's right here. A fence. Craftsman who's interested in rare animals and unique. Yeah, so this guy. Actually, we should probably just go to him really quick because I might have stuff on me. I might want to get off since. He's literally right here, but yeah. And so then my launcher crashed and I went to a black screen. So I minim I could see the minimized screen. And I said exit and save. And so in anyways, I came back and my wagon's not there. We always pat this dog. I do every dog, but this one I do it every time I'm here. Look at that poopies. Hello again. Go let's see on. what we have. A quick nosy. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, we have the stuff we can sell. Hmm. Come across a few of these myself. Kentucky bourbon. We don't need any. Mm. I don't use it. All right, nothing exciting. Real good doing business with you. It clears up my inventory. I have, my inventory is really full. So what else we should probably do is let's go here. Do I have anything? No. Oh. What about my horse? He's not too bad, but I have so much stuff on me. The reason I have so much stuff is from playing for hours. Hunting animals. You come across different uh, little events where. Got him again. Okay there, boy. That bad guys come up on you or something, and you end up killing them and getting their stuff, which isn't a part of the story. I was watching this guy, he was uh, killing bandits with knives, throwing knives, hit a little short. I was like, that's so cool. Oh yeah, I was going to pay this damn thing. I'm all over the place today. Yeah, I have a bounty because, like I was saying in the other video, Came across a train, two car cars were on it, and everybody was dead. It looks like they had a, a fight. So I was like, hey, I'm going to jump in the train, and I rode it for two hours. 
It was peaceful. I was listening to music that night, drinking a couple of beers, and I was just relaxed. Right in the train. And I was in, was it Rhodes? Help me! Hey, someone help me! Going across a lot of these guys today. You okay, mister? We'll help you. Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Suck out the venom. Give him health care. You know, I've, I've never sucked out the venom before. Let's see what happens. Okay. I have an idea. <laughs> Not a word to anyone. You know I mean? I owe you one, mister. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Got that right. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. I, 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 out here. No more. Oh, it was really nice to give you a ride. Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? That was funny. Yeah, I've never heard sucked up the venom from somebody. I always gave him medicine. Don't tell anybody. I wasn't here. Oh, you like watching me because I'm mellow? Yeah. God, so you turn around like Twitch, and there's so much drama out there. So I understand. I'm just laid back. I'm just I'm gaming, I'm trying to find my niche crowd where they just like watching me play a bunch of different video games because that's what I do. I'm not here to cause any hate, harm, negativity. I'm just trying to stay positive. Be lighthearted. Be fun. And like everybody. As uh, I care about diversity and equality, I appreciate you hanging out and liking or watching the videos. If you like, that's awesome. I do that all the time. I like a bunch of. I like everybody's video I watch, except for the big corporations, like you know, like Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon and Seth Meyers and stuff like that. John Oliver. I don't like those because. They're getting millions of dollars, hundreds and thousands of dollars per episode, and then they're probably getting thousands of dollars for each YouTube clip. So all I ever do is I just like all the small creators. Like Neebs Gaming, kind of funny. Bruce Green, stuff like that. Jack Frags. I like all of them too because they're mellow. Though in truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us. As a sign of respect to our creator, we pay respect to the dead. Oh, Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. So, what they're doing over here? Tell us straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. Sorry. Let's check out what you got. Ooh. All right, I'll leave you alone. Man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. Let us pray for this man, O oh Father. Provide him mercy. Amen. Those were kind words, Father. Maybe. But what good are words? <sighs> Hi there, mister. Hello. <laughs> he just... You didn't right, want to talk yeah. to me. All right, see ya. They didn't want to talk to me. All right, let's go pay this uh, bounty.
You can Hey, Heather. Hello, mister. Hello. Hey there. Hey, hi to everybody. Sir, thought I recognized you. Hello again. How's your hmm. I thought you were sweating a little. I wasn't sweating. You turned over a oh. New leaf, I'm sure. I only have $100. I forgot I upgraded my uh, cap. Thanks, mister. I totally upgraded my camp. Okay there. Hello. Enough sir. of this How do you do? Let's see what this one is. You're trying to do the main story, but we can do this stranger. What you want? You okay? <laughs> do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you, if that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here. Living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only. I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Bank says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. All right. Okay, well, I'm glad we got that. Let's go back and go back to the main story. Yep. Yep. All right, we paid our fine, so now we can go back in there after killing that silly man. with our darn train. Hey, turkeys. Yeah. Hey, dear. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff looked kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch I... asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. Hi, John. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction. Like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. 
I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. You have to talk like I said John earlier because when I do shorts, YouTube says I'm not using my own content. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. Right, we'll we be go. watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your name on it oh relax I ain't here to rob you <laughs> oh it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Nice. Let's do this. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yeah. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town. It's the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Yeah. Put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh. <laughs> you can't speak. You're too
I ran into the tree. I need to go slow so I can hear the whole story. Because sometimes you go in so quick, they don't finish the story. I did not mean to run into the tree, though. Two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Few cases. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Right the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Stand the guy, out the liquor. The guy, the guy totally pushed me. Not once, but twice. What was he thinking? Bar in this here town are entirely free. Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, A gift. Keep them coming. Drink up, drink! Uh, Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get them. Oh, 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 Let's get him. Right in the gut. Come on, get up here. Upstairs, hurry. Get off me. Rip. 
right in the pee pee. Is my guns? That's what we want it. Oh yeah. Shot the horse in the butt. Damn, that was fun. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now... Let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. 
<laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Long gone. Is payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, uh, Dutch. Will excuse me, Arthur. I got to write a letter. That just got serious. Damn. All right, Arthur. All I get are bronzes. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. If you liked and if you subscribe, you're awesome. You know it already. But if you don't, I just wanted to let you know. That was very kind of you. Thank you.